Delighted to say that we have Childish Gambino on the line, um, hot line from direct from New York City. Hello there, how you doing? I'm good. How are you, Annie? I'm good, thank you. Is it true that you are in a in a in a green room waiting to perform on Jimmy Fallon? That's correct. That's exactly where I am right now. What's the plans? What are you going to perform? Yeah, we we kind of want to do something super special. Like, I guess like you know we have a we have a choir and such. So like I'm I'm planning on doing just something. I, I, the whole point of it is to kind of get people to feel like uh you know they're in church. So um, it's a, it's a pretty big performance. I've got to thank you for this kind of late gift at the end of this year or, or early Christmas present, it feels like, of Awaken My Love, uh, which came out at the start of the month. Um, what a wonderful surprise um, that that it was to, to all Childish Gambino fans. It feels like, uh, just as I said, like, like a gift, an absolute gift, and we've been enjoying it so much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I'm really glad people, you know, getting to enjoy it without, like, you know, kind of an exploration, but I'm glad people are, uh, you know, connecting with it. How did you go into this album, just out of curiosity? Did you go into it fully with with an idea of it being fully formed in your head of what it was going to be, or was it something that just came came out with the production and with the creation? No, we, this is kind of the first album that uh, I did with, with the band entirely. Like Ludwig, you know, he's a, been my producer since the beginning, but the band that we go in the world with, we kind of we made the album a lot together and like worked on it together so it it wasn't like a cohesive it, we 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 made the album kind of differently than we usually do but also i just was became like kind of interested in fear and just how what fear kind of does to us and like as a whole as a group of people you know i think like the things we've kind of seen like here in america as well as like over in the uk like uh i think there's like i think i became obsessed with like fear Instead of love, I think it, just, it became something I just was interested in. So it, it wasn't fully formed like the band and and Ludwig and I like uh, kind of brought it together like, uh, over uh, over the years. I'm fascinated with how your brain works in terms of it feels like you are so multifaceted in terms of like when you kind of write down all the things that you do on a professional level um you know the writing and and, and the acting and and the singing and the producing everything I read somewhere that you were writing with a team in the daytime Atlanta and then at night you'd get all your musicians in and you'd write the album and to me that just feels like such a brain melt <laughs> I don't know how you kind of get yeah, it together yeah. how do you do that yeah you know like we had a pl- we rented a place in the hills called the factory yeah. and uh yeah during the day we wrote Atlanta the show and then at night I would work on the album I, I think if I, if I saw them as different things it probably would have been harder mm-hmm. but I, I I really don't see them you know I really do just see like my expression it's just something that's coming through me like I, I feel like it's something that I just have to do and it's also just something I see as just one thing. It's not really something I, I, I dissect and make into like separate things because I, I, I do believe it's, it's, they're just expressions of something that's supposed to come out of me anyway. Donald, tell me how you feel about putting out a body of work that is so kind of left of what we've heard before in terms of what you've put out. Do you have, do you ever feel kind of fear as an artist? Like, oh God, they're not going to like it. You know, how, how do you feel about that? I kind of feel like that's my job. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like if, if, if I get it, like, you know, a lot of people can't do that. A lot of people, you know, they, they feel like they have to, you know, my, my I feel like my job is to move the needle as a, like a culture, you know, like it really is important to me that we're moving forward. I, I, I don't, I, I feel like progress comes from failure in a lot of ways. Like, you know, if it failed, that just meant, you know, the worst I could be is an influence, which I think is probably the best I could be at, at some point at the same time. Was there specific types of artists or a specific scene or culture that really, uh, you delved into with regards to this album? I really, um, you know, I think I really started to listen to, like, Donny Hathaway a lot. Mm. And I was, like, listening to him, and just, like, I, I really felt him, and I just fell in love with him and, like, everything he kind of stood for. Like, I listened to a lot of interviews he did, you know, 
and like him and like Shiggy Otis, like oh. the brothers Johnson. Yeah. Like I thought like like a lot of that stuff was just like really cool and me stuff I had never really even listened to, I guess like on some like even like Led Zeppelin, which like I knew about but like I had never really like done a lot of research on what they had done. Yeah. So stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and then moving forwards, you are doing a million things. What what what's happening in terms of the world of Donald Glover? You're in Star Wars. Is there more in writing Star to be Wars. done? The, yeah, I'm just working on that. Like, I'm in Star Wars and finishing writing Atlanta, uh, the second season of that show. I'm writing my own movie and uh, and just you know making music when I when I feel like it, which I think is like a, a true luxury. Like I'm really happy to be in that space that like yeah just writing i think like some music that i think the world needs like i'm really interested in trying to give you know i don't know if music really is a capable of doing what it used to but i'm gonna try so i think those are the three major things i'm trying to pull off this year you know 2017 yeah um well before we let you go i'm gonna ask you to choose a track from the album that we can play um, just one of your favorites, one of the ones that you would go and listen to. I mean, I presume you listen to it from beginning to end, like we do. But mm-hmm. <laughs> if there is a track that we can play that, that that you suggest, that would be great. Um, I guess since it's the end of the year, I, and you know, I think a lot of people had a very rough year. I, so I'd, I'd like to play "Stand Tall" if that's possible. Hundred percent, we'd love to do that. Thank you so much for your time yeah. this evening, Donald. No problem, and congratulations. Thank you for the time. Thank you, and you're going live live to uh, the whole of America now and Jimmy Fallon, so uh, we will look forward to watching that online tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, you'll see it in a little bit. you take go us to church. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hopefully. All right, take care. You too. When the sun is rising over streets so barren Since the evening, colors flash before my